Hi friends, it's Shanna, Shop Glorious Day, picking up where we left off here on the edge of Zapp and Sommerfeld, I think we're at. Um, you'll see Buditude behind me. Uh, Christy's actually wrapping up with a customer, so we thought we'd maybe just start with that and uh, give you an opportunity to see what folks come looking for at her Buditude shop here and, uh, and then give her an opportunity to share uh, the story filled uh, and history behind so many of the uh, wonderful collection of boots that she carries. So let's go see Christy. Actually, I'll give you a little view of what the day looks like here Saturday afternoon, fall show, Round Top Antiques Week. A uh, beautiful, dreamy 70s fall day. So folks are out. And there you see Sommerfeld, sunshiny Sommerfeld. And there's Christy and her customer who just found the perfect boots, I guess. Yay. So we'll start with that. Let's zone in on those. Wow. Yes, I've been looking for some white boots for a long time. Yeah. I've been looking all over Austin, Texas, and I couldn't find them. So I finally found them. <laughs> and you said you found them on Instagram, or you found her on Instagram. Yeah, when I searched Round Top on Instagram, they came up. Yay, <laughs> perfect. And you were able to find her amidst all the fields. Do you yeah. know Round Top well? You know where to go? Or? No, no. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, fun. Well, and this is Christy. So, well, thanks for sharing. Yeah. And what brand? Just wondering, like, what can we know about them? Justin's. Yeah. Oh, you got to get the bag. Okay. These are Justin's and they look like perfection. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah. So. How perfect. So here we go, Chrissy, finally on this beautiful, sunshiny Saturday. <laughs> Show us around. Okay. Let's get a look. So you've got, you've got boots from, um, maybe we can turn this down. Uh, maybe we've, uh, we'll take a look at the, um, it's okay. We'll be okay. Just wondering about the sound. Want to make sure they can hear you. There we go. Ah, there we go. Well, a little background music, <laughs> but gosh, you have such a collection. We won't worry about it. Let's just listen in, tune in on you and your boot collection. So you have men's and women's size range. Just give us a general overview. Women's from size five to 12. Okay. And men's, when I bring them, I don't always bring them out. Okay. But I have anywhere from size eight to 13. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So all the boots are being made. Okay. And some of them are like a collector's item. This is an area boot. That Ariat. Was, that was designed by Quincy. Okay. And now Rodeo Quincy has her own line. So you can't get these anymore. Oh. Them to look at these. Yes. Collector boots here. And then wow. this is a pair of Liberty boots, which is a custom made boot. Oh. Yeah. They're considered one of the top five boot makers in the world. Wow. And what size are those? These just are, curious. These are all nine. Nines, yeah. okay, guys. Look, let me just pan across a little bit so they can see some of the beauty and the detail. Oh, wow! And then look at those, those brown boots right there. These are top of the line Tony Lana, they're from the signature series, okay, which are there's highest quality boot made now. And actually, Rodney Amons, who was a custom maker from El Paso, went to work for Tony Lama Justin Nakona designing boots. Now. Wow. And so, how old are these boots? These are probably five years old. Oh, okay, so not that old. And they're made, do you know where they're made? or? Um, Mexico. Mexico, wow. But look at the detail. And then this is old gringo which most of the okay. women in texas want to see so yeah what got in old, old gringo. gringo yeah these yeah. look like they've been loved and worn yes they and have. enjoyed and then here we have some fry boots that's, okay that's yeah lizard, um, yep foot yeah and then here we have a vintage larry mayhem okay which could have been made by tony Lama back in the day okay and um, a lot of the girls now are really wanting the cow fur. Yeah. Bag. How about the silvery ones? Okay. Those are catching my eye. Look at these. These were made for back at the ranch. Okay. Which is a store in Santa Yeah. Um, so these are brand new. Okay. Back at the ranch. Never worn. And what size are they? This is all size nine. All, oh, this whole row is nines. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Well, let's take a look. Let's go find a few more treasures that are standouts that you want to share. And so is this, you've got, you do have some men's here though. Yes, not this one. Okay. So it's mostly women's, women's here. Oh, I wanted fringe. So <laughs> I see Beth, the, the dirty bohemian with her fringed boots and I like want fringed boots <laughs> so bad. I'm wearing those to vote in Tuesday. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at them. You can't even look at to appreciate this. They're, yeah, they've got the flag underneath. Oh my. Yeah. What size are they? Those Me. are seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. Show us a few more that are real standouts. So this is a custom pair by Rodney Amons. And I was mentioning that yes. he for John Lama. Yeah. So these are sea bass, and I communicated with him on internet about these. Um, he had these tanned in Canada. Okay. And then these are probably from about 1993 or four. No kidding. Yeah, yeah he knew when they were made. He's tag on there. Catching that name. Yep. And then here is a custom pair of stingray. Wow. Yeah, with the lizard upper vamp, and they did not say who made it. They did not put any maker's marks. All there is is the bootmaker's numbers. Huh. So that's pretty unusual. Yeah. And then they are unusual. Look at. Yeah. They are. Not your everyday, certainly. And then this is another old green day. Uh huh. And here we have an elephant. Uh, Larry Mayhan. Wow. These are pretty special. Yeah, these are made by Corral. Okay. They're also a competitor of Old Gringo and they okay. are also made in Mexico. I love like the cut work and the colors. Yes. Ooh, 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 yes. Oh, these I had peeked at when I walked by. This is another one that Rodeo Quincy designed for Ariat. Okay. And then this one is one that was designed by Gypsy Soul for Ariat. Wow. And See, it has their name, Gypsy Soul, on yeah. the back. Yeah. So those are collectors now because they don't make them anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Then we have these beautiful ones I just sold. Okay. Um, yeah. These are a Lucchese handmade classic. Wow. Snake skin. Wow. And that all holds up fine, like the endurance, longevity, all these different... Yes, yeah, so all of these books are handmade, so... You could always have them resold and keep them for your whole life. How about these? These are new Dan Post boots. Okay. Um, they're brand new. Yeah. Everybody's kind of starting to emboss the bottoms. Okay. Um, so these are brand new. I figured somebody in Nashville would buy these. Right. Yeah. Okay. Stunners. Definitely stunners. So many to fall in love with. Like Those look like butterflies to me. They are. They are. <laughs> Oh, this how is beautiful. Texas brand. It's an older brand. Yeah. Oops, beautiful. Gosh. So they're all arranged by, we even have some bejeweled boots oh, yeah, here. All green Look at these. Wow. And you can't even really see maybe how they're sparkling, but look at, oh, there we go. I'll turn it. Look. Those are fabulous, size six. And then this is an if anybody's brand. looking, size six right there. Wow. <gasps> Look at those. Hand tooled and alligator foot. Wow. I guess never wore them. And I have not found a customer yet that can get their foot in there so, really it's oh, narrow you yes, mean to slide in yes. and even with your trick do you want to share the trick that you had mentioned to me yes, if all else fails put on a plastic bag from walmart or kroger and put it on your foot and slide it in and slide it in and then just tear it off yes, tear it free ah oh, there you go so these have never been worn yeah they were priced at 1800 dollars, <gasps> and they're tooled and again alligator foot wow so if I could ever find somebody to wear them, they could be 500. Right. Make 1,500. Look at that. What size are they? We should maybe mention. Well, they're supposed to be so my the, size. So right. Have, okay. They are, I'll say a five, five and a half. You'd have to be a five to get your foot in there, unless you're kind of unusually narrow-footed right. or something. Right. Well, someone needs to get these. I know. I wow. Special me. boots. <laughs> Oh, no stretchers or anything are going to do the trick. These, I love the patina on these. Yes, those are uh, 
They're Stetsons. Like my Stetson hat. Oh, actually, you know, I'm kind of vibing on these. Tell me they're nine and a half. They are they're not. eight and a half. Oh, boo. Okay, well, we tried. Yes. Look at those. I love those, actually. Yes, I did. Super love those. And then here's a pair of Nocona. Okay. Uh, Stingray. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So, I mean, the variety is just astounding exceptional captivating look i'm kind of zoomed down here to get them all kinds to see okay wow montana okay rocket buster also makes a similar boot and that's one of my favorites wow yes that's an eye catcher and then here we have a dusty rocket buster i need to dust it but this is rocket buster rocket buster wow so there's a lot to know in the world of boots yeah. in terms of yeah this, they are. Okay. Yep. Wow. Okay. Sure. So bucket list. Oh wait, the heart boots. Yeah, these are Justin. Justin's. Look at longer like that with the hearts. Someone's falling in love with these, right? Yeah. Wow. And they're what size? Five. Fives. A lot of the finished boots are going to be around a five. Or well, it's so interesting to me that you do have so many smaller boots. Yeah, like, in the 70s, everything was smaller. Yeah. <laughs> My grandmother was a five. Right. I'm a six and a half. My daughter's a, she's only 14 and she's in a nine. Wow. Wow. And are, are there any particular brands that are known for, let's say, the embroidery or, like, I don't know, any kind of patterns like that that you'd want to point out? Like, look at these. These are like garden. This, this is old gringo. Old gringo. Old gringo has a lot of floral. Floral. Stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. More a floral yeah. theme. Like, look at these too. Yeah, that's a, another company. I don't oh, so fun. Love them all. All the textures. So, so many personalities to be discovered and expressed through the boots you pick. It's artwork. It's art. It absolutely is. Wow. Well, we'll take a minute here to say thank you to Christy thank for you. having us visit and blessed to have the opportunity to show folks your amazing collections of boots here. Bootitude, they can find you mostly on Instagram now, you said, right? Yes, and I'm across from the Lone Star Inn, Glamp yes. Inn in Warrington, yeah. in between Ring Call and Zappal. Okay, yeah, so I'll step outside so you know exactly where to find her again to make sure you can find her, but an amazing collection that you'll want to come and explore and hopefully find a perfect pair for you too. So we'll sign off for now with Christy at Buditude Shanna Shop Glorious Day. Bye for now. Bye.